Hi, this is Earl Ofari Hutchinson, and my latest op-ed, Haitians' treatment is not just an American disgrace, but a world disgrace. And that's my latest commentary on the Haitian brutal, brutal treatment at the border. We've all seen the shocking scenes of border patrol agents with whips and guns and chains beating and hurting and harassing Haitian immigrants fleeing their country, the brutality the poverty, the violence, and especially the poverty, seeking asylum in the United States, and the double standard treatment versus them, as opposed to um, Cuban immigrants and the immigrants from other countries, totally different with Haitian immigrants, and I think we know why. I'm still haunted by the heartbreaking and pathetic scene I and a group of other American visitors witnessed at the small beach town in northern Haiti that I visited some years ago. We had no sooner arrived at the beach when a contingent of Haitian police and local officials frantically waved away a throng of the town's residents that had poured onto the beach to haul food, trinkets, carvings, and tattered clothing items. Remember, the grinding poverty, desperation, but mostly the bag. Their torn t-shirts, ragged shorts, and emaciated hollow-eyed looks spoke of more than Haiti's legendary, world-leading poverty. It spoke of the sheer, utter desperation to get anything from those they regarded as rich foreign tourists, including yours truly. That scene has stayed with me. That was more than a decade ago. And many other tourists that have gone to Haiti, that can even get to Haiti, have seen the same thing. Uh, it, it's, it's heartbreaking to see it. So it's no surprise that we saw thousands of people flooding the border in desperation to get out of Haiti, to seek a better life in the United States, which is what immigrants do and why they come here, and the shocking treatment. So it's a message to the Biden administration do not double down on the medieval, brutal Trump administration policy of just turning away all immigrants, demonizing them. Do the right thing, revoke that policy, and open the border. In this case, welcome the desperate, fleeing Haitian immigrants that want a better life in the United States. Again, my column, Haitians' treatment is not just an American disgrace, but a world disgrace. The Hutchinson Report dot net.